In Revit, rebar couplers are available to help detail your concrete reinforcement drawings and documentation. Rebar coupler elements share much of the same functionality as the rebar they connect. In this basic column reinforcement model, we will connect the vertical rebar between the columns and add anchors to them. Click Rebar Coupler on the Reinforcement panel of the Structure tab. For the first placement, we'll be placing a coupler between two bars. In the Type Selector, select a coupler family. Click the two rebar instances to add the coupler. Note that rebar detailed in other views are hidden to isolate the rebar to be coupled. Likewise, the column has been hidden in the 3D view to clearly highlight the rebar. Notice how the rebar geometry shortened to accommodate the coupler. When you examine the instance properties of the modified rebar, end treatments have been applied according to the connection needs of the coupler. Couplers will also propagate across rebar in sets. Rebar couplers will move with the connected rebar and can be moved along the bars they connect. Adjusting the geometry of the rebar will also reposition the coupler. To add headed anchors to rebar, click Rebar Coupler and select Place on Bar End. In the Type Selector, select an anchor family, such as a headed anchor coupler. Click Rebar Instances to place the anchors. Like rebar, couplers can be viewed unobscured in a host. They are always viewed as solids in 3D views. Rebar couplers maintain numbering schemes and assigned partitions. Open the Reinforcement Numbering dialog to view their current assignments. Couplers may also be tagged, scheduled, added to groups and assemblies, and exported to various formats. Use rebar couplers to present as-built documents for construction and prefabrication communication.